if you can hear the lawnmower this entire time, I'm very sorry, but this is literally the only time I can film because I work full time and I'm going on a date in like 10 minutes. So we gotta like zip through this. So sorry, not sorry. Just try to ignore it. I don't know. everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my May TBR for 2022. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month, and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with the books that she chose. This month's theme is movies that Jay has never seen. Without further ado, let us get started. The first movie, she's wrong about me never seeing, so there's that point, but it is Home Alone and it is for the book Welcome Home. This is a anthology all about adoption stories and it's funny because I actually started reading this book. As you can see, there's a little bookmark in there, but I started reading it in 2018. So clearly it's going well. I, I got to page 70. I think I read like three stories and then just put it down and never picked it up again. Maybe this month will be the month that we actually read and finish this book, but We'll see. Next up is for the movie The Book Thief and it is The Memory Thief by Lauren Manzi. This was recently on my TBR, I think for the month of... It actually might have been last month because it was things that you don't want in the middle of the night and it was for Thief. But clearly the book was not read because it is back on the TBR. But it actually does sound pretty interesting. It takes place in a society where memories are currency and it follows a girl named Etta. The power-hungry ruler of the city is named Madame. She's talking about taking Etta's mother and selling her memories to the highest bidder before she's killed because she's currently living in the city asylum and so Etta will stop at nothing in order to stop this from happening. So she joins a rebel group called The Shadows and it's like the story of that. So we love rebel groups. And I do think that it sounds cool. I don't know why I didn't get to this book last month, but maybe this month is the month that it's actually gonna happen. Next movie is another one that she is wrong because I have seen The Kingsman, unless it's like an older version of it because I've seen like the new ones. I think that it's a remake, but it's The Kingsman. And the book that she chose for that is The King's Questioner by Nikki Katz. This one is another one that sounds pretty cool, but it follows Callan, who is a mental pick lock. So he is able to access people's memories through touch. This obviously makes him a perfect candidate for the king's questioner, but then the prince falls into a deep sleep coma type of situation and the king asks him to read his memories. Callan intervenes and he saves the prince's life, but he also uncovers a terrifying secret. So it's like the story of that. I think it sounds pretty cool. I am definitely intrigued by it, but will we get to it? Again, we don't know. The next movie she chose is The Dead Poet Society, and that one is actually correct. I have never seen that movie, but she chose The Poet X by Elizabeth Acedo. This one I'm actually very excited about because I do really enjoy her audiobooks because she's actually the one reading it, so I always think that it's so cool when the author actually reads their own books. I know that a lot of people love this book, so I'm hoping that I also love it. It's also all in verse, which I am a big fan of in books, and I know that that'll make it fly by very quickly, so this one will definitely be done if I can get the audiobook from the library. Next up, she chose the movie Good Will Hunting, another one I actually have not seen. But that is for The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley, and this one is another one that was huge on Booktube when it first came out, but it had very mixed reviews. People either really love it and never stop talking about this book, or absolutely despise it and also never stop talking about this book. So we're gonna see where we lie on that spectrum. I think it sounds like it's right up my alley, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be one of those people that really likes it, but... We'll see if that actually is the case. Next, she chose the movie Grey Gardens. I've never even heard of that movie. The other ones I've at least heard of. This one, no clue what it's about, no idea who's in it, don't know anything. But she chose The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. I have quickly become a big fan of Lisa Jewell. I've read a lot of their books and I really enjoy them. I know a lot of people are not the biggest fan of her writing, but something about it gets me every time. I know that this follows a schizophrenic father whose daughter has to come take care of him, brings her two daughters, becomes friends with a stay-at-home mom, and I guess shit goes down from there, but again, sounds like it's right up my alley, so I'm here for it. 
And then the final movie, I don't know why she put it on the list because we've literally watched it multiple times together, but it is The Wizard of Oz and she chose the book The End of Oz by Daniel Page, which I think this is the fourth book and I've only read the first two books in the series so I'm gonna have to read the third book in order to read this but I hated the first two books. It's um Death of Dorothy, Dorothy Dying, Dying Dorothy, I don't, Dorothy Must Die that series. I hated it so I don't really know why I still have this book. I haven't read it but it's like a signed first edition so I don't know but I have to read the third book to read this one so who knows if that's gonna happen. Probably not. Alright everybody, those were the books that my mother chose based off of the movies that I have never seen, even though I've seen three of the ones that she chose. Besides the point, will these books be read? We never know. But let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!